Hi everyone, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the, the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. <laughs> so what I got in store for you today is spring rolls because we live in Tucson, Arizona and it's probably 110 outside and it's not a day that you want to turn on the <clears throat> oven for one thing. <laughs> so we made spring rolls, fresh, light, crunchy, with a peanut butter sauce. And if you don't know what spring rolls are, we use something called spring roll wrappers. And these are made out of rice and they come in two types. Uh, we found white ones initially, but then we saw the same company made brown rice wrappers. Now here's the interesting thing. You know, as whole food plant-based eaters, we like to choose ingredients that have not been refined and so typically we'll choose brown rice over white rice because the brown rice has more fiber, it's got more nutrients because nothing's been stripped. But interestingly enough, the package doesn't actually show that the brown rice wrappers have more fiber. <laughs> I don't really know why. So somebody else is going to have to share that with us someday. But anyways, Either one, Georgie's going to show you how to make them and uh, the brown rice are a little bigger. You can put more into it, you know, as opposed to the smaller white ones. Right. So we're going to get to it. I just want to remind everybody, if you haven't seen our videos before, the recipe for our video is always in two places. It's posted at the very end of the video and then it's also on the description for the YouTube channel link for this video. So if you just look at the, the, the page of the video in the description, you will see the recipe posted there as well. So it's real easy for you to see. Oh, do I wanna make this or not? Okay, and then it's at the end of the video. So we hope if you enjoy our video, you'll give us that thumbs up and you'll subscribe to us. So when we do more, you'll get notified. And then of course, hit that little bell. Okay? okay, so ready? Let's get to the video and watch Georgie make these veggie spring rolls. There's a couple of steps to them and, and uh, we'll show you how to do it. And we encourage you to do this because you're eating a bunch of raw vegetables, which is really a nice thing to do besides your cooked food. And you're going to eat them with this yummy, delicious peanut sauce. And there's tofu inside for some extra protein. Yes, yes. And of so. course, we know now that soy is protective against cancer, particularly those hormonal cancers. So don't be afraid of that soy. You know, it, the research out of Asia is pretty clear that soy is a good thing to eat. We always get organic soy though, because we don't want to deal with any of the GMO stuff. Okay? All right, All let's, right. let's get let's to cooking. cooking. Okay, everyone, this is going to be the first step. I'm going to brown my tofu. This is the type of tofu we use. It's from Trader Joe's. It's organic and it is extra firm. Now what I'm gonna do is, I, what I did is I cut half of this, put the rest of it in water so it, it'll stay. And what I did is I cut this in about half inch strips. You can see how long they're probably, well it's the length of this. Quarter inch, half inch. So what I'm gonna do, I've been having my pot a little bit uh, heating now. <clears throat> I'm gonna do this without oil and without vegetable broth. So we can get a brown crispiness to it for the spring rolls. I'm going to set these in here. I've got it a little bit about above medium. Now I'm doing this just to get a texture because tofu is soft, it falls apart. This is going to give you a little bit of texture to the spring roll itself. Of course, we're using extra firm tofu, so it won't fall apart like a right. soft tofu. As you can see, it's sizzling a little bit, and it's a good nonstick pan, so everything is sliding around. So that, that makes a big difference, you know. If you, if you need to put a little bit of uh, vegetable broth or take a dab of olive oil and just smear it around the bottom of the pan, and that would be plenty enough. You don't have to drizzle teaspoons or anything like that in there. Let's see if this is uh, what's going on here. Look, you can see it's browning already. That's all I want. So I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit and I'm gonna turn these over to get the other side brown. If you can see what I'm doing here, Denise. And so, if you don't have a Trader Joe's, just wherever you are, 
to see if you can buy some extra firm organic tofu. Right. Whatever you have in your locale. And you can see it's already that's already brown on that oh, one wow. side. Mm -hmm. This will only take a couple seconds, so. You want to pay attention and make sure you don't burn it because you don't want to have a burn taste. Okay. That's all I needed to do was put a little bit of crispiness to it, okay? I'm going to set it aside on, on this plate and let it cool down because you don't want to use it when it's warm. And that was, that was pretty fast. No oil. You got the taste of the tofu. You didn't need to add the vegetable broth. And of course, for this dish, well, the taste is going to be yummy when we're going to dip it in our peanut oh. sauce. Okay, there's my tofu. It's been browned a little bit just to make it so it's firm. So let's go ahead and stop this, and then we'll come over here and make the peanut sauce, which will be step two. Okay. Okay, everyone, this is step two, the peanut sauce for our spring rolls. We're going to start off with crunchy or creamy peanut butter. We're going to have a half a cup of that and ginger, just a half inch by half inch cube. Show you what it looks like in the store here. Okay, it looks like a root. Two cloves of garlic that I've already taken the skin off of. This is what a garlic bulb looks like before you peel it, the, the cloves are inside there. Then we're gonna add some tamari for a little bit of saltiness and mix that up with a little bit of warm water for thickness. And you, like I said, you can use creamy or you can use crunchy. We're using crunchy because that's what we have on hand. Go ahead. And this is at room temperature, so it's gonna be easier to mix. This in the bowl. And I'm gonna put the tamari in. And if anyone lives by a Trader Joe, that is where our organic peanut butter comes from. Um, we think it's a very delicious organic peanut butter with no other additives. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grate up the ginger. We buy the organic, it's been washed, so I leave the skin on. And I just use the small side of the cheese grater. Like you, this is where you would do your cheese. Just go up and down like that. This is going to give us a minced ginger. Minced ginger. Okay. Then we're going to do our garlic on the same side. faster and easier than trying to chop it by hand. <laughs> then we're going to put a little bit of warm water in here, do a couple tablespoons. And that's just to help thin it out. Yes, and I, I use the, the pot that we warm up our water for our coffee in the morning. So you just got to do it by what you have. So I'm going to need a little bit more, do a couple more. So as usual, start small and then you can add. Right, that, that way you don't have to add more to make it thicker. You want to thin it out nice and slow. Yeah, this is working. Now you can use a whisk like this. I chose to do a fork. Now I'm just going to make a comment about this peanut butter sauce. We've seen recipes where people have added oils and maple syrup. Uh, we decided to try it without adding some added sugar and oils because it saves us a bunch of calories. And we decided it was just yummy with the ingredients you see right here. Mm-hmm. There it's coming around. Nope, we're still going to need a little bit more. 
I'd say I did about a quarter of a cup of hot water. Yeah, a quarter of a cup. There we go. And when we di dip those veggie spring rolls in this sauce, oh my gosh, it's There's so our sauce good. If you want to. It's just a thin peanut butter with garlic and onion. I mean, ginger. Okay. So let's come back in a few minutes and we'll put the spring rolls together. All right. Sounds great. Okay. This is step three putting these spring rolls together. I'm going to show you how I cut all of my vegetables. My first one is going to be the romaine lettuce. With the romaine, I, I take the rib out just like you would collards or something, only because I don't want too much of a crunchy business going on here. And then I'm going to take that leaf and I'm going to cut it into sections about like that so that I have a piece, what, I would say inch and a half by inch and a half. Of romaine. We'll do the same with one more. You could use butter lettuce. Is that what it's called? Butter lettuce, yes. Okay. Next is my red bell pepper. I've already cut the top off, took the seeds out. I'm going to slice it here on the side, just like that. And then I just want strips. And I keep the skin side down because if you don't have a real sharp knife, you could be like sawing it. So if you do it with the tip of your knife, it's a lot faster and easier. Just watch your fingers. And you just want strips like that. Zucchini. This is, was a whole zucchini. I just cut it in three different pieces, cut the ends off. Stand it up, nice thin slice, straight down. Stack those on top of each other, as thin as you could get it. And that's what we mean by julienne vegetables. There's that. Carrot, same thing. I leave the skin on because we buy organic. I just wash them real well. Okay, straight on down. And you're going to do the same thing. Very good knife skills here, Georgie. Oh, as, as she says that, I start messing up. <laughs> And this mint that you see in this little red container here, that's from our garden. Yes, it is. Okay, there's our chopped carrots. As you notice, I'm trying to keep everything uniform so that when I go to fill my spring rolls, I'm not, everything's not crisscrossed and everything. Then we, now we have the cucumber. And we have, these are those Persian cucumbers. Persian if you don't, ones. can't find that, you could use a regular one. Right. Same way, it's like I did the carrot and everything else. Oops. And this is a wonderful recipe to eat a lot of raw vegetables, which we know is very health promoting, to not eat everything cooked. So it's a great way to eat those raw vegetables and then you get to dip it in a really yummy sauce. We just started eating these, at least Georgie making them, Probably in the last uh, six months or so. Prior to that, we never made these. Since we've been on lockdown. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're really getting into it. They're just so tasty. And okay, I guess... last but not least will be my, my cabbage. 
And I'm just, I just cut the end off because we've been using this and I don't cut the whole thing apart at one time. Just nice sliced, as thin as you can. And, and just look I, at all this color. And then I'm gonna chop this. Because everybody probably remembers that the color of your veggies is what's giving you the wonderful antioxidants to protect you from free radicals. It can cause cancer, inflammation in your body, all kinds of bad things those free radicals can do. But if you eat tons of antioxidants in your plant foods, choose the color, you will help protect yourself from some of the worst diseases out there. Now I, I chop this because it's, gonna, it's just not where you can get it uniform like all the rest of the vegetables. Okay, let me rinse this off. I think we're getting ready, so let's look at everything that we've got here. This beautiful plate of veggies, and then the mint, and the tofu. Oh, and we got a heart full of sesame seeds that we'll be dabbing the finished spring rolls in when we're done. Now, one of the things I do is I make sure that my I use a wooden board, so I use a wooden board, so what I do is I make it moist so that the spring rolls don't uh, stick to it as much. You can use a rubber one, I mean a plastic one and all of that if you want to. And then I always keep a rag that, because once you're making these, the water that you're bringing out is going to be filling this and you don't want it soaking in water. So, again, hot water like what we make our coffee and tea with. As hot as you can stand, because it gets cold real quick and it takes a lot longer to do your uh, wraps. Okay, I'm going to do some brown and I'm going to do some of the uh, white rice. So I'm going to do a brown one first. And you just stick it in like that, tap it down, pull it out. Wow, that was quick. Okay, it doesn't, it's very hot water, so this is going to maybe a little bit. That's good. Then we're gonna take some of the romaine and I'm gonna make like a little cup here. I'm gonna put some cucumber, bell pepper, squash, carrots. Then we're gonna take piece of tofu, bring this over. Oh, forgot the purple cabbage. You got That's the good. mint in there? I'm sorry? You have the mint in there? Oh, I forgot the mint too. Okay, gonna turn this over. I'm gonna roll it towards the knees, and then I'm gonna pull in one side at a time. It's a little bit, took a little bit too long. This will work. As I'm Pulling this in, I'm folding and rolling, just like a burrito. Okay. okay. To keep it from sticking to the bowl or to each other, I dab it in a little bit of sesame seed or roll it, and there you go. Ah, very nice. Okay. I'll do a white rice now. These are smaller, so you're not going to use as much filling, okay? One piece of lettuce, a couple carrots, squash, cucumber, mint, red pepper, and red bell pepper, and a little bit of this. And then I'm grabbing it from the bottom, bringing it off the board. And holding this as it, I pull to keep it a little bit tight. Over here, over here, there's the white rice. And when Georgie first started doing these, it took a little practice to feel very uh, efficient with making these spring rolls. So if you're trying for the first time, don't get discouraged if you know, you just need a little bit of practice and then it'll be fine. <laughs> but then he got it and we've been loving it ever since. Okay. 
And you also could vary your ingredients. Some people like to put avocado in their spring rolls. Right. We decided not to do that while we do eat avocados at our house. Since right now we have the peanut butter, which has quite a bit of fat in it and high calories. That was kind of why we just decided not to put avocado in the same dish. We'll do this one more and then we'll take a pause. I'll roll the rest of these and show you what my finished stuff looks like. And one thing I was telling Denise, when you put your carrots and everything, try to keep them straight like this. It makes the rolling a lot easier. And if they're laying like this, you're going to have problems. You want so them like straight everybody and everything in a line. Red pepper. I don't think you have any pepper in there. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I got two on the bottom. Oh, okay. We'll put a little more. See, I have to tuck in some. And then dabbing in our sesame seeds. So there you go. Let's go ahead and Pause for a few minutes and I'll roll the rest of these up and then we'll chow down. Okay. Okay. Okay, everyone. There's my finished product, spring rolls. I left some of them without sesame seeds and there's the peanut sauce in the middle. <clears throat> that looks so attractive. Here's one that I'm gonna taste for everybody. You know, it, it, it took me a while only because we're taping this. But for the most part, once you get started and you get all your steps together, it's done. A little bit of sauce up there. See the way it looks inside? Nice layered. Mmm, so good. Nice and crunchy, mm -hmm. too. So, everyone, that's my spring rolls, my version of spring rolls. Hope you enjoyed them as much as we are enjoying them. We'll finish up in a few minutes. How's that? Okay, dirty. <laughs> well, we hope you enjoyed another video by the Happy Vegan Couple on making great healthy food. Because our mission and passion is to help anybody who doesn't really know how to cook healthy, whole food, plant-based, we want to show you how to do it so you can bring health to you and your loved ones. Okay, so again, if you enjoyed our video, we hope you'll give us a thumbs up and you'll subscribe. And then we will see you next time with something else delicious that we will hope to teach you how to make. Until then, I'm Denise. And I'm Georgie. And we're the Happy, Happy Vegan, Vegan Couple. couple. Go plant-based. Plant Bye, everybody. Bye. And we hope you're all well. This is being made during the COVID pandemic. In fact, you might have noticed we have longer hair. We haven't had a haircut in many months. Georgie and I have been socially distancing since uh, March 9th, and right now it's June 26th. <laughs> One day this will be over, we hope, but please protect yourself. Protect you and everybody else. Wear that mask, socially distance, wash those hands, and... Let's hope this will be over someday soon. Yes, Not safe. soon enough, but someday soon. Be safe. Bye, everybody.